guys and welcome back to our channel. So, today's video, I've been wanting to do this for ages, but we've just been so busy. If you watched my last video, you would know that me and John just recently moved out. Um, we got our own little apartment and it is so perfect and we love it. We're just getting it all ready and like painted and how we want it at the moment. But ever since we've moved in, I've wanted to do like a big clean and I've just not had the time to do it. So, I'm gonna give it a good clean today and we're gonna get it done. It is not how we want it yet. Um, we've still got loads of stuff to do. The only room we've really started on properly is the lounge and the lounge is nearly complete. We're just waiting to put like a few little shelves up. We need to put um, the carpet down and the carpet's gonna make such a difference. So I'm not too bothered about the floor at the moment, like cleaning that up. I'm gonna give it a good hoover, but we're getting brand new carpet soon anyway. So there's no point in uh, doing too much to the floor. So I think I'm going to go room by room and just give it a good clean because I've just wanted to do it ever since we've been here and we've just not got around to doing it because we've just been so busy. We're, like, we're both working full time and every little second we get, we kind of just want to paint and get things done. So I hate wearing makeup when I'm cleaning or doing anything like that because I just feel like I want to get it off. Does that make sense? So I've literally got like no makeup on, I've shoved my hair up, I've hair in my face when I'm cleaning. I just want to clean, get it done. No point in looking all fancy. I see some people's cleaning videos and they're like all done up and they look so beautiful in their cleaning videos. And I think, do you really do that in real life? Do you really get spruced up just to clean the house? Because you look beautiful, but you do you boo. I'm gonna show you my cleaning supplies that I have first as well. So let's go and have a look at that. I have some window lean, and this is good for like, um, cleaning our dining table and stuff. So I've got window lean. So I'm gonna show you all of the products that I have and then I'm just gonna talk through to you what I use them for as I'm going because otherwise this video is gonna be very long. But these are the products I'm using. So I've got window lean. I've got some minkies here. These aren't actually minkies. These are like B&M version of them. They're exactly the same. I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. They're just a little bit cheaper. Um, I've got the pink stuff, which is like a multi-purpose spray which is a good one. Oh, look at all this grime on the floor. See why I need a clean? Because it's just crap everywhere. Um, I have this SIF, which I don't know if I'm going to use yet because I'm probably going to use the pink stuff. This and this are kind of like the same sort of thing. They're kind of like a bit abrasive and just like really shine things up and get grime off basically. So they're just like two things that are pretty much the same. This is really good. This is both really good. They're both really good. I have obviously my the flora i have this one in the tropical twist and i have this one which is in uh, my favorite scent which is country gardens and i just think this smells really really fresh um that's another country garden out there and i just mix up my flora in this little spray bottle that i have here I do have an empty spray bottle at the back, which I need to fill up with Sephora as well. But for the time being, that's full up, so I'm going to run out. I'm going to use that up first. Um, also, I have some flash wipes. These have come in so handy, especially while we've been painting. Like, if we accidentally get paint on something, these just rub it off straight away. And they're really good if you just want to have a quick once-over. Um, I also have this sif antibacterial spray this is like a multi-purpose spray as well this can be used for like the cooker and stuff and it's just a bit more hard wearing than the pink stuff maybe i'm not too sure i haven't it's basically pretty much the same as the pink stuff but just sif version uh these are just laundry stuff oh i got these as well i'll probably just show you i'll show you this anyway i have to get non-bio because my skin is not great but i bought these little comfort intense drop things and I'm gonna try them and if my skin doesn't react to them then uh well that will be great but it probably will so um I bought them just to like wash things like the curtains and stuff and I did a wash for the curtains the other day because they were so dusty and they needed a wash so I put these in the wash with that and it oh I tell you it smells so blimmin nice and these are the comfort intense perfume pearls and you just put like a little quarter of a cap full into your wash and they are in a fresh sky scent and they smell so nice these two go so nice together they like really complement each other um i then have some febreze and this is in the scent april fresh scent and it just smells really nice you can spray like your beds with it spray whatever you want just something to refresh something these little pink things that go into the toilet assistant um 
they're okay. They kind of, it helps reduce lime scale and stuff like that. But um, it kind of like fights odours and blah, blah, blah. And you just put it in like the cistern of your toilet and it makes the water pink. And I'm not too sure on the colour. Like I thought pink would be cool, but it kind of just looks like not great. It kind of looks like blood. <laughs> not blood, but like if the light's not on, if the lights, our light, when you turn it on, it like takes a while to turn on. I need to get a new bulb for it. And it kind of just looks like blood, like someone's bled in the toilet. So not great pink. So I think next time I'm going to get the blue ones because I don't know. I just thought pink would be great, but it just looks a bit weird. But I'm going to use these up and I've got two, four, five, five left. And there were six in a pack. I've only used one. So I'm going to put one of those in the toilet just because it just keeps it nice and clean. Okay, so we're gonna start off in the kitchen. This is actually one of my favorite rooms to clean. I had a little bit of washing up to do, so I like to get that out of the way first. I hate having things in the sink while I'm washing them up, so I like to take them out of the sink and then wash each one bit by bit. Like seven mugs in the sink because John drinks so much tea and coffee. He could drink tea and coffee for England, I'm sure. <laughs> So I just used the soft part of my minky and some washing up liquid just to wash up the dishes. So I have these spice jars on the side that I washed up earlier and I was just leaving them to dry before I put the spices in. But I've just put these in the cupboard just to keep them out of the way for now. I normally like to let the washing dry naturally but today I just wanted to get everything out of the way so that I could clean the surfaces. So I just used this microfiber tea towel to dry all of the cups. I like to clear off all of the surfaces of everything so that I can properly give it a good clean. I just use my minky here just to get rid of all the excess water off of the draining board. And then I'm going to go in with a spray just to disinfect the whole kitchen. This is the pink stuff. I like to use this. It's a multi-purpose spray. And I spray this all over the work surfaces, all over the tap and all over the sink all over anything that basically needs cleaning just to disinfect it. I then use a microfiber towel. I use the pink one for the kitchen and I have like set colors for set rooms. So the pink one I use for the kitchen and then I know that I just use that for the kitchen. Um, I also have a set color for the bathroom so that I know that after, even after they've been washed that I can then reuse them for the bathroom again. There was some quite tough bits to clean on the tap so I decided to use this which is got like a bit of a grit to it and it just scrubs it more than a multi-purpose spray would do so I get a little bit of the paste onto my minky on the rough part of the minky and then just give it a good scrub this kind of had like some sticky stuff on it and I was trying to get that off so I tried my hardest just to like scrub that up it also makes like stainless steel really shiny so you buff it up with that and then just wipe over it with like a, a dry or wet microfiber cloth and it just makes it super super shiny. I like to give the sink a good scrub because obviously a lot of food and bacteria gets into the sink so I use the multi-purpose spray to clean this out. I then fill the sink up with a little bit of hot water and put my minky in there. I'll put a little bit of sephora in there just like a capful and this makes the kitchen smell so nice. Obviously you can't be forgetting about the window seal and the windows so I used the pink stuff the multi-purpose spray to just clean over the window seal which had so much dust on it and then I use window lean to clean the inside of my windows the outside of the windows really need a good clean but I can't get to them so that's gonna have to wait I'm afraid I like to move all of my appliances out of the way so that I can clean underneath them because so many like crumbs and stuff gather underneath them so I like to like give that a good clean underneath so I know that all the crumbs and all the grime and stuff is all cleaned out from underneath. I like to give them a good clean over as well. Um, for my cooker I like to use this SIF antibacterial spray. Um, it keeps, seems to get quite streaky when I use the microfiber cloth so I just wipe it over once with that and then use a bit of kitchen roll just to buff it out to get rid of any like streaks or smears on it and it seems to do the job really really well. I 
and then chuck the pink microfiber cloth into the sink so that it can be cleaned in the sephora and smell like a dream like my minky will after this as well give it a good hoover because there's always so many crumbs on the floor and kitchen is complete onto the dining room and how cute is this table we got this table from amazon and it was so cheap come with all the chairs i'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in it but we love it it's bloody brilliant you kind of have to put it together yourself but i mean that's the fun in it isn't it um so i just remove all the placemats and use some window lean to buff out the table this table gets quite dusty because you can see all the dust on it where it's glass it leaves quite a lot of smears and stuff so i like to give it a good wipe over quite often put all the placemats back out put my little centerpiece in and voila the table is complete had to give the little uh, chairs a little wipe over as well because they were a little bit dusty from where we've been sanding and stuff so just cleaning up all of the toot on the side so that I can actually get to the windowsill. Um, we seem to just have a lot of stuff gathering in places that we don't really need there. So it feels so nice just to get rid of that. I then use some window lean just to clean the inside of the windows again so that it makes the inside nice and shiny. But it's a shame we obviously can't do the outside. Oh my god, we finally have our sofas. We are so in love with our sofas. They are so nice. They fit so perfectly and we love the colour of them. Before I do anything with my sofas, I give the carpet a quick hoover just to get rid of any dust or anything on the carpet because with these type of sofas where they're quite soft, you need to like punch the pillows and pump them up every single day otherwise they get quite flat and squashed so I pump all them up give them a little hoover underneath just to get rid of any crumbs or anything there wasn't really anything there because the sofa is brand new chuck them all back on arrange the pillows voila your sofa is looking beautiful put my little footstool back we need to get this fixed because it's a little bit wonky but that's gonna come hopefully soon <laughs> Um, then onto my TV unit, we just put this together, we haven't taken the little sticky thing off of the front of it so that's why it looks a bit weird, but give that a little clean over, make sure I tidy up all the stuff of the shelf because that just looks cluttered and I don't like all the clutter up there, um, we just sort of been dumping everything on top of that shelf so, time to clean it, give it a good wipe over, use the multi-purpose spray from the pink stuff and this room is now complete and everything is clean and tidy and smells like a dream just thought i'd check in because i've got like four more rooms to do but there's no point in doing a few of them because we're painting when we're sanding so everything's just going to get covered in like dust and stuff so this is the hallway ignore the um oh by the way yeah ignore the whole edge of the carpet we're getting brand new carpets put down and we've just cut away the edges because we were sanding the skirting boards and painting them a load of rubbish here that i've got rid of i might give it a little hoover that's about it really so i'm not really going to do anything to this room spare room here which has a load of stuff in it and there's literally nothing really i can do to this room at all so i'm literally just going to leave that room our bedroom really doesn't really need anything so all I'm really gonna do is just gonna give it a little tidy up but that's really it the bedroom look we've just got a little blow-up bed at the moment and nothing's really done in this bedroom at all um, this room we've got like big plans that we want to do with it but I need to give this a good clean because there's like so much dust gathered in here from where we've been like sanding and stuff so it needs a good clean and we've not properly cleaned it since we've been here so I'm just gonna give it a good clean we want to rip like the whole bathroom out eventually but that's something that's going to come in the future because it's going to be quite expensive to do so for now I'm going to give it a good spruce over give it a good clean so that it feels nice and fresh when we go in there so I'm going to get that done now and then I think that's going to be it I'm going to go and do some painting after this Obviously again, the first thing I'm going to do is just tidy up all the clutter. Um, I'm using my Sephora spray for the bathroom actually and I use this for everything in the bathroom because it just smells really delightful. But for the bathroom, I literally, that's all I use, just diluted Sephora because it smells so nice and it makes the bathroom smell really, really fresh. I use it for the sink, for the mirror, um, I do everything first, like I do the sink and the bath and the mirror and everything else first and then I'll clean the toilet afterwards because I don't know, I just feel it's a bit weird to clean the toilet first. Um, just gave everything a good scrub up really because we haven't really had time to do it and it just needed a good scrub. So toilet is last, toilet is the dreaded part but to be honest it really wasn't too bad at all. Just chuck one of those pink things into the toilet system and put the lid back on. 
Um, they say they're meant to last three weeks, but really they only last about a week. So after I've used these up, I'm probably just going to get the blue ones because the blue ones look so much cooler. Give it a good hoover up and the bathroom is done. I can't wait to redo our bathroom. We don't really like the bathroom how it is, but now it's a bit cleaner and fresher. It just feels a bit nicer in there. Then I didn't really need to do the hallway, but I thought while I was there, I'd give it a quick hoover just to get rid of any like dust and stuff that was there from sanding. Finally done. It takes so much longer than you think it's going to take. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, I feel better now. Uh, the whole lounge and the kitchen and the bathroom's done. The bathroom really needed doing. It was so dusty and it was so gross. I just wanted to clean that toilet so bad. But it's all done now. That's all done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you stick around because we're going to be doing a lot, doing a lot of like house decorating videos. And it's going to be fun. And look at our view, by the way. How amazing is that? Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.